Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and we've got another installment of these weeks in EDM because I have missed uh, two and a half weeks at this point because new stuff comes out tomorrow, but uh, that's besides the point. We're going to be looking back at the last two weeks in EDM uh, and stuff that I want to cover, stuff that I thought was interesting, songs that I thought wanted to be, should be highlighted in some capacity or another. Uh, so we've got 43 songs that came out the last two weeks, uh, and yes, again, we're going to split them into five different categories, trash, bad, meh, good, and standout. we got some of all five this time around. Uh, and as always, if you want to see all the songs, the link is in the uh, description down below for the Spotify playlist. So let's hop into it with the trash category songs that I think are just trash. Uh, we're starting with How We Do by Bass Jackers. Uh, the Le Pays Bass uh, EP is out, and it's really the most basic derivative EDM I've heard uh, this year and maybe even the last couple years. Um, not at all interesting or worth listening to, personally. Then we've got Alone, sorry, not Alone. <laughs> again by Marshmallow. Uh, how is this man getting away with making the same slightly different melody for like seven years now? It's the same thing. Uh, the vocal chops are horrendously annoying and I almost didn't get through the song. It was that bad. But uh, speaking of bad, we'll hop into just the bad category now. And again, remember, these are just my opinions. Just my opinions. I could be wrong. Uh, we've got Midnight by Nitrix featuring Link. Uh, oddly short track for Nitrix here with uh, just over two minutes. Got those kind of soft, out-of-breath vocals that Nitrix kind of has here and there with some of his tracks. It doesn't quite hit the spot for me. A very fast-paced track that just feels like it ends very abruptly. So that's why it's here. And we've got 139 by Zed's Dead featuring uh, Scrafizer, I want to say. Uh, minimalistic tech house track that feels uh, very low quality for Zed's Dead specifically. I don't know, something about it just feels like it's just not their, their bread and butter. And uh, it just, yeah, it didn't work for me. Then we've got Eternal by Marshmallow again because of Marshmallow's two tracks back to back. Probably getting a Joy Time, Joy Time far, 4 coming up. Uh, overall, nothing super complex or creative with this one. Sounds similar to his last of the releases. It's just boring and, and not interesting. Then we've got Saturday Sunday by Jason Drulo and David Guetta. Uh, do you want a basic house beat with uh, someone that is saying all the days of the week? This is your song. It, that's it. It's just house with saying Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, it's it's bad. Uh, and then I Want You by Icona Pop and Galantis. Uh, this is a bit of a nothing burger of a song for me personally. Uh, even for commercial success, like knowing that this should be for kind of the charts, I feel like it doesn't, I feel like it's not going to. I feel like it's just not that interesting even for commercial plays. So I don't, I don't get this one. Then we've got The Freaks by David Guetta and Martin Horger. Uh, very repetitive with little to no tonal variation. Uh, it's definitely made for that kind of big room festival setting, but uh, yeah, taking a substantially lower approach to this track, lower tech house, it's just, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, is it tech house? I don't, I'm not specifically sure, but it doesn't really matter. It's not that great. I'm not a fan. Uh, then we've got Noise Machine by Topi. Well, I can appreciate the sound design that he normally does. Uh, this one just not that pleasing for me to, to hear. Uh, if anything, it feels like it's trying to be too edgy and just kind of miss the mark more so than not. So, we're still getting it, I would say. Then we've got Stomp. E? Stompy by Sample Fire, a craze Bizo and Dr. Ushu. I probably butchered all of those names. Um, this one's just not for me. I was hoping for something more from a Quadra collab like this, especially, and I know I know it was all rhythm producers and I'm not the biggest rhythm fan, but I was expecting just a little bit more, a little bit something a little bit more interesting for me specifically, and it just didn't, didn't have it for me. Uh, but with that, we are moving into the meh category songs that I thought were just meh. Uh, we got Guesses by Foxella and Andrew A featuring Barmuda. Uh, leaning more towards a basic sounding slap house track with this one here. The mixing feels a little bit jumbled on the drops. And with that kind of just, I don't know, it takes away from the rest of the song holistically, I'd, I'd say for me. Then we've got Lavender Haze, the Felix John remix, originally by Taylor Swift. Uh, gonna hear this song for a long time, I guarantee. It's a Pop 40 remix of a very, very popular song, I guess from Taylor Swift here. And so uh, it, it does its job as a remix, but individually is not the most interesting song, so. Then we've got Don't Let Me Let Go, the Zomboy remix, remix, originally by Dylan Francis, Elenium, and Evan Gaia, I want to say. A uh, fairly abrasive remix that I just didn't find appealing. Uh, original wasn't, excuse me, the original wasn't too great to begin with, I would say, but the remix just keeps it as uninteresting, but in a different direction, I would say. Uh, then we've got Meditate by Riot. I'm really not loving this new era of Riot that they're going through. Uh, albeit this is probably their best track of all the ones I would say so far, but the drum step this time around just feels, I don't know, comparatively empty, I'd say for, for Riot compared to their other tracks. I just, yeah, I'm not, not loving the new, the new era. 
Then we've got Toad by Barely Live and Company. Uh, insane track with so much chaos all throughout. Uh, the second drop felt like almost like quarter time, like it was even slower than what you would, would do as a halftime. I know it is, but it just feels substantially more slower. But uh, too much of a dis distance between the kind of very abrasive rhythm and the pseudo synthwave off drops uh, for me to enjoy this one too much. Then we've got this version of You, the Joseph Ray remix by Odessa featuring Juliana Barwick. Uh, the remix, uh, some more remixes from the uh, latest Odessa album is out now, but uh, I'm glad to see the intro got a remix. Actually got two remixes, but it pretty much just prolongs the original song. It doesn't add too much more other than a pretty simplistic beat, and that was pretty much it. And then we got Vessels by Slippy. Slippy taking on Hard Dance for the first time, uh, to my knowledge, at least. It's kind of a, a, a mix between a kind of a underground techno and Hard Dance. But uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely has a very underground sound to it. And uh, with that constant bass line thump that you kind of hear from Hard Dance. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the biggest fan of Hard Dance specifically, but I actually kind of like this one in terms of uh, how it is genre holistically. So uh, not too bad. Then we've got All My Good Bass uh, by Fowler and Jello, a quite rigid tech house track here with some harsher sounding synths, but yet another carefree fun track from these two that, uh, not that bad. Uh, I did like uh, My 3 3 wants to bang me more, though. <laughs> uh, and then we're moving into the good category. We got a lot of songs. We got 25 more songs to go. A lot of good songs came out these last two weeks. Um, so with that, we'll hop into Power Play by Pigboard Nerds and Boss Fight. Uh, all things considered, it's a good track, but it wasn't great. And I didn't really... It didn't feel the kind of raw grandness of what I expected to be from the collaboration between these two giants and Monster Cap. Uh, maybe my expectations were too high, but this one just felt a little... A little lacking, but still, still good. Then we got Ghost Synths by Feed Me, an interesting little track with a steady beat and lighthearted vocal samples here. Uh, Feed Me has it labeled as like new disco, I think on SoundCloud, but it's really truly feels like a house track with a just a bright synth. Um, but uh, an interesting small little uh, more subdued track in this one. Then we got Practice by FN. Super unique sound design here from FN. A blend of a bunch of different genres with with in one creative soundscape, I guess. Um, chaotic is what I want to say. Chaotic soundscape. Uh, love when the chaos gets uh, very audibly pleasing, I'd say, from Effin, and that is this track specifically. So, hope that made sense. Uh, then we've got Cocoon, the Martin Garrix and Space Ducks remix, originally by 070 Shake. Uh, the Martin Garrix playing around with some, uh, some more bass house here, which I actually really enjoyed. This remix does it quite well. Uh, it keeps a lot of the original, I would say, intact and turns it into a ripe fest or ripe song for the festival or club. So uh, this is a remix done well, I would say. Then we've got Do My Own Thing by Warner Case and Bascar. Uh, clean Deep House here with good supporting vocals. Feels like the most modern Deep House sound, I would say, that I've heard in quite some time. Uh, it blends both the commercial sounds with uh, the synth melody. It's also very well produced with the bass line. So it really does all of it in, in a new track. The uh, quality that I would say I have not heard a ton, I would say, from Bass House uh, recently. Then we've got You Worry Enough by Mr. Fiji Ouija. More classic Fiji here with his iconic trip hop uh, sound uh, with the kind of wet vocal chops and dystopian-esque sound design. Uh, that's what you get from Fiji pretty much every time. Then we've got What It Feels Like by Eula featuring Who Is Rune. Uh, a light, almost ethereal house track that feels very on par with the rest of his discography. It's simplistic with clean mixing and that's kind of what you get from Eula. We've got Conflicted by Myrn and Manila Killa. Uh, reminds me of the best tracks that I like from Manila Killa's uh, Dusk album from last year. Uh, a very Rufus to Soul-esque house vibe here with the kind of deep tones and sustained synths that uh, worked really well. And I, I appreciate the collaboration. Then we've got Rage Room by Murata. Absolutely unrelenting track here. Destructively insane. And honestly, I'm starting to enjoy Murata a little bit more and more with each new release. Uh, the first half of the drops, I think, are much stronger with that kind of added guitar layer. Uh, but I didn't love the back halves of both ends of the drops. As much, I would say. And then we've got Let Me Go by Faint and Josh Rumid. Rubin. Uh, nice to hear some more dance floor DNB from Faint. I, I like his dance floor stuff, I think, more than his liquid drum and bass. Uh, got some energized synths here and steady vocals. Makes for a solid track. Then we've got Move Back by Crank Dat featuring Savage. I didn't love Crank Dat's 2022 bass house tracks, uh, but this one feels way much more up my alley. Um, it's more palatable with the less kind of screechy synth lines that we got from uh, what I thought before. It's chaotic while still keeping the track feeling uh, quite linear, I would say. Then we've got uh, Hypothetical by Yo Mas, uh, a bright stripped down and feel good electropop track uh, with very much of an indie sound to it and one that uh, is a little bit substantially more lighter than some of the other tracks here on this uh, or this week, I should say. 
Then we've got Sacrifice by KX5 and Sophie Tucker. The upcoming KX5 self-titled album is coming out soon. Uh, and this is a heavier cut than some of the rest of the singles we've heard so far. I really like Sophie, Tuck Sophie Tucker's vocals, especially when they're kind of not actually their own mixing of their vocals. I think they can tend to sound a little bit blander, but I like when someone else mixes them. So I maybe that's just they did it differently, but uh, I like what they kind of did to the vocals this, this time around. Then we've got No Service by Vendata featuring Ozer. I've always loved Vendata's fusion of R&B and electronic, and uh, this is just a really grooving track with a more prominent bass line than we've heard from the rest of their kind of discography up to this point, and uh, feels very modern with a nice catchy hook. Then we've got uh, Halk Halkian. I've never know. I never know. I don't know how to say this word ever. Halcyon. I want to say uh, the Bensley remix, originally by Noisia and the Upbeats. Uh, hard to take a really great track and switch it up with a or just as good remix, but uh, Benzie does a pretty good job here. The remix gives the original some more breathing room, I would say, with stronger pushes and pulls, not keeping it as consistently going as uh, Noisia and Upbeats did originally, and kind of giving it some more uh, ebbing, ebbing and flowing. Then we've got uh, Counting Sheeps, uh, technically, or the more name to it, but uh, with Flume featuring the Injury Reserve. The Things Don't Always Go the Way You Plan mixtape is out, and uh, the old school Flume is definitely in full force and full attack with this brand new track, sort of brand new track, Counting Sheep. Uh, it's it's kind of, yeah, paired with his classic uh, wonky soundscape and the underground trap rap. Uh, this is classic old Flume, classic mixtape Flume, I would say. Then we've got Catalyst by Drew Lou and E. Mano. Continuing to innovate in the D&B sphere, these two have been uh, blending the sounds uh, of both of their styles is so perfect here. And uh, the added Foley makes it, and the extra kind of weird tidbits of kind of special sounds here and there makes the song go from, from good to great, I would say. We've got After Hours by Ellis. Uh, more commercial sound from Ellis uh, that is not quite as explosive as we've heard in the past, but still quite grooving uh, and still really engaging. And uh, just another solid cut for sure. Then we've got Miles Away by Tasaki and Leo Trix. Uh, the new Tasaki EP is out now. And uh, with that, I think this is actually my favorite uh, song from the EP. It's a little bit shorter, but it jams a lot into a small time frame. Uh, and it has a really, truly unique dubstep sound, I would say. It's a kind of a dubstep trap fusion, I would personally say. But it's got these kind of squeaky synths and vocal chops uh, with a beat that kind of keeps you guessing over and over again. And it, it worked really well for me. And um, that's saying something, especially because I not, haven't been the hugest Leo Trix fan of recent, but uh, way to go. Then we've got Same Thing by Direct and Danika Nadeu. Uh, Direct is one of the smoothest tracks in his discography, I would say. Uh, and Danika with always being those kind of phenomenal vocals. I think she's one of my favorite um, vocalists on any track, really, uh, in EDM right now. I, whenever I see her name, I'm always excited uh, for the vocals on the track. But uh, well put together, uh, down tempo track for sure. Then we've got Earthbound by Camoufly. Uh, the In Plain Sight EP is out. And uh, this being a kind of new artist for me, um, I've really been enjoying the relaxing yet engaging beats here. It's a bit of a novel sound that I haven't heard a ton of before, which it isn't super out there or crazy, but it just feels fresh to me. Then we've got Three Little Words by More Kismet featuring Anna Delaria. Continuing to be a pioneer of music, uh, is what it feels like from more Kismet at this point. Um, the flashy synth licks, powerful bass lines, and stellar vocals. This is a killer song. And our last one of good is still here with the ones that I came with by Skrillex, Porter Robinson, and B.B. Borelli. Uh, the albums have been out. If you've been living under a rock, Skrillex released two albums, which I'm sure you know about and have your own opinions on. But uh, stylistically, this is uh, kind of odd to have Skrillex and Porter on a track that's house. That's not really a more future-based or indie and or dubstep, uh, but I think it worked really well. Uh, it was a good end to the whole uh, Quest for Fire album, I would say, and really wraps it all with a nice little bow. Uh, and I uh, got those nice uplifting vocal phrases of still here with the ones that I came with and it just uh worked well it's very very bright and very happy track I would say and our final two tracks are in standout this week standout tracks this week uh two I guess from these two last weeks but uh we've got pinwheel two by skybreak or artura archer I want to say and 360 uh this is a jazzy song so much so that there is a jazz off version that has come accompanied to this one uh which is also just as marvelous uh it's definitely not your basic song structure with this a very carefree and light track that feels like it's just soloing the entire time 
in such a great way. And it sounds like the, um, if you kind of know Haywire or Glacier, how they kind of, um, yeah, just kind of, or Oblivion even solo on like the MIDI keyboards and just kind of play with the, the pitch all, all the time. It, it sounds similar to that. Uh, and it's just, uh, it's just great. Then we've got It's Just You finishing off the weeks by Starseed and Nitrix. Nitrix landed in uh, Bad and uh, Standout this week, which is very fascinating. So uh, a much needed collaboration between these two, I would say. It's very refreshing to see Starseed. Um, I, I love the stuff they've been doing. I think they're one of the, the better producers in the game right now in terms of quality. But uh, yeah, this track is also just a weird genre fusion of so many different things. It's got a driving beat um, in the first drop only to be halved in the second. Uh, it's solid Nitrix vocals here. It's just so so weird like the fact that this song has some of my favorite vocals um from nitrix on this one but then the other song this week also was my least favorite it's it's just weird it goes to show that it can change from one release to another so drastically but uh that is it that is it for these weeks in edm i am was quite behind so you'll see another one of these hopefully soon-esque but um yeah let me know what you think of any and all of these tracks in the comment section below but other than that i'm bowtie media and i'll see you guys in another video